What's up guys and welcome to the channel. Today we got a quick video for you guys. We're just going to show you guys how we AC a tent. We've had a lot of people asking us how to AC a tent. We've AC'd a bunch of different tents depending on where we've gone. This is actually our tent mansion that I'm in right now. It's an absolutely massive Airbnb tent, but the process of putting AC in a tent will be the exact same no matter what tent you guys use. I will show you a couple little tips and tricks just to make your life a little bit easier. Especially here in Florida, it gets insanely hot, so having an AC in a tent is gonna make your life a little better if you're trying to camp in the summertime. So what we have here, and this is the easiest way to do it, this is a portable stand-up unit. This is a 12,000 BTU unit. It is definitely overkill, even for a tent this large. This AC will absolutely get this tent freezing cold. So we prefer the units that have the AC vents coming out of the front like this, not the ones that come out of the top. The ones that come out of the top don't seem to work as well in our opinion. So this is super, super easy. This unit is actually going to push the water that it makes out the exhaust. Now, in our experience, there's so much moisture in a tent that it will actually fill up and you'll have to deal with that. So the easiest way to do is to hook that drain tube to this and then run it out the tent. I'm gonna show you guys that also, but that's the easiest way to do it because if you don't, it will turn itself off occasionally and you'll actually have to empty it out. So I'm just gonna show you on the back of here how we have this set up. So I'll pull it back a little bit, open the zipper up here. So essentially you have this exhaust hose and it's gonna go outside of the tent, which I'll show you guys in just a second. Open this up a little more. It just runs down and then out of the tent. So very, very simple. And then at the very, very bottom down here, there's a plastic drain hose. You can just probably barely yeah. see it. So that drain hose is basically where the water's going, the excess water that's not making it out of that drain tube. So we run it out there also, and then that way you don't have any issues with it backing up. Okay, so this thing will get this tent incredibly cold. Like I said, this is a large tent. I'll show you guys a quick overview of how big this tent is so you can have an idea of how large of an AC unit you're gonna need. Now, in some of the other tents that we have seen in a lot of like the Ozark Trail or Gazelle type style tents, they have a mesh top. This tent does not have a mesh top, but if your tent has a mesh top with a rain cover over it, what you're gonna wanna do is get a tarp that fits over top and then put your tent up, put the tarp over top of that and then put the rain cover on top of that. And that's gonna keep that air, the cold air from escaping. So that's gonna make your life much easier. We actually had to do that on our Ozark Trail tents, both of them. Um, luckily this tent, like I said, is a little bit different, but your tent will be just as good as this. Our Ozark Trail tent gets absolutely insanely cold also. So it definitely makes camping in the summertime a little bit easier. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Make sure you smash that like button for me. It really helps us out on YouTube. And uh, let me give you a quick little tour of how big this tent is, just so you can kind of see. So this is actually the living room area and you can see, I'm gonna just walk over to the side of it. It's about seven steps across. And then back here, we actually have this bedroom area. So this is, it'll keep the whole area in here cool. So obviously it's pretty dark, but you can see the whole living room area here. And then I'm all the way back in the bedroom and it will actually keep this all cool. You can run a small fan in here, which we do sometimes, but 12,000 BTU, like I said, is overkill for this tent. This tent would be fine like on an eight or a 10. Um, like I said, it does give you a little bit of room if it gets really, really hot, but um, you can pick these up relatively cheap. And obviously this is super, super easy. Now, if your tent has like some type of screen material, you could obviously just cut a small hole in the screen material and run the hose out if you'd like. Um, we did that on an Ozark trail tent. It just made it a little bit easier for where we wanted to put the AC. But since this tent has so many doors, it's just as easy just to leave a door open just a little bit and then run the hoses out, no big deal. So I hope that helps you guys. Like I said, if it does, let me know down in the comments and uh, smash that like button for me. We'll see you guys on the next one.